Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I bring one exciting product for the parking system. This is the ultrasonic sensors which I have already made a video for the unboxing. This product also I bring from China. Let's see how it's going to install. Uh, I installed this display on my front desk and I took the cable from over the head to the complete uh, from the upside. So it is easy, it is easy to take the cable from here. So I just take the cable from the up and it directly goes to the back side of the vehicle which the loading the key was there. So let me go there and show you how it's where it will come the cable from the back side. So the cable will come from the here and it will goes directly to the back light. So let's let me show you here. Uh, this is my controller where I am going to install all the sensor. So this controller power I given from the backlight reverse light of my vehicle. So I connected plus to plus minus to minus of the reverse light. As you can see here, I have just uh, uh, connect to my reverse lights. Now I have here four sensors which I am going to install back side of the my vehicle. So for that I need to make a drill. So I have four sensors. Let me, this four sensor will be connect here A as A, B, C, D. So here I have uh, already measured. So make sure you park your vehicle on the plane surface, plane surface where you can uh, measure the properly. So I make the measurement for all the sensor to be online. So I just make a measurement. On that measurement, I give my, I keep one mark. So it is easy for me to identify the level. So if you make the proper surface and if you make mark, it will be on the line. So let's start making the drill. You will get one also with the parking sensor. So you need just to install in the uh, drill machine and make a drill. And make sure you are doing proper drill. Drill should be straight and make it professionally. Easily you can do it. No need to have any special technicians and this all. So you can do from your own in your home. I'm just doing by myself and I have two guys who is helping me. So once you have uh, made the hole, you need to bring the cable from the hole. So let me bring the cable from inside. So this guy will help me to bring the cable from the inside. Now put the cable back, uh, uh, other end of the cable just put in the hole and bring to pull the cable outside, outside the bumper. So the sensor can be easily installed. The sensor have already uh, the fixing. According to that you need to just push the sensor inside the hole so it will be installed. Once you make the installation, so make the same process with all the other sensors like I have for the four sensors. So I need to make hole for the complete four sensors. So once you install it will look like this, this one. So guys, here I have completed my installation of the four sensors. So to test the sensor before final fixing, I have just connected this all cables to the controller according to their positions as A, B, C, D. So I have just connected all together. Let's go to make the reverse gear and test the sensor. So I have given the reverse gear. Now if you see, it is blinking. If somebody is coming. So let's see. See that the guy is near to the sensor, zero meter and it is blinking. Just giving this. 
Yes. Now it is near to that uh, sensor. Other side ka? Right side and left side. We have two sides. So both sides you will see the meters. So according to that you need to judge your parking. So let me show you where the the showing left side. So let me show you the guy where he is standing. So he is he is standing here left side, and the lights also blinking on the left side. So this is the simple installation you have to do. Now let me make the complete fixing, and I will get back to you the final video where I am going to show you how I make the cables final fixing. So guys, I have finally finished the installation and uh, take the cable from the inside. As you can see, I bring the cable from the completely hidden side. So I just use some spaces where is the easy to bring the cable. So as you can see, the cable is once I fix this all, the cable cannot be seen and the controller cannot be seen outside. And also I can use the complete space without any issues that I don't need to worry about the cables so I can use as regular as so that according to that you need to bring the cable according to your vehicle so hope you understand how I have done this one so please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also I am giving you the best prices you just contact me through whatsapp And I can give you direct supplier links and I can give you direct supplier contact numbers. You can directly purchase from them without any mediator. So you will get the, all the devices related to car or ELV systems within cheap brands. So I am trying to bring all the cheapest brands and good quality brands through my YouTube channel. So please support me and also subscribe to my channel for further videos. Thank you once again.